22 Jump Street. Yeah. We're going to go see it. Oh, I hope so. I hope so, too. I don't know what else there is to see. Uh, Jersey Boys. I actually want to see that. There you go. We can see Jersey Boys, too. But we're going to try to see 22 Jump Street. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. How about did, you? I'm excited. Did you see the uh, first one? I did. I was actually surprised by by how good it was. I was I really went into it expecting it to suck. Yeah. Because I mean it was a good. Oh, I mean. I saw the first one. I didn't enjoy it. You didn't like the first one. Why not? Oh, uh, maybe it was because I saw it on TV and it was interrupted by commercials and you don't get that like whole like um, movie atmosphere. Yeah. Every movie sucks if you see it the first time that way. So, but I'm expecting this one to be more or less the same. I don't see how it could really change. More than likely, their careers washed up or something like that, or they have some falling out. And then they're Isn't that why they're doing it. this movie? I don't know. <laughs> More than, <they're>, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, Channing Tatum, you don't have to come beat me up. Yeah. Yeah, Just we're, we're cool know. with Channing. Of course. He, he watches this. Does he? Yeah. The only person. <laughs> um, is it? No, I was going to say. I don't know much about this movie, aside from it has Channing Tatum in it. And uh, and the guy who was fat and is no longer fat. He's still kind of fat, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he had to, because when he got not fat, then he wasn't funny anymore. <laughs> in which case... Why is that? I don't know. Just fat people are funny. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... so uh, jo Jonah Hill. That's his name. Jonah Hill, yeah. I wonder if they'll cameo, because... Uh, didn't Greco or Johnny Depp or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, they were in the the first one they died. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, original cast members, which is kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. I wonder if they'll bring anyone else back from the original show. Well, they're kind of dead. I don't see how they could bring them back. I imagine their police oh, sergeant that's... would be there again. Right. And, uh, but that's about know. it. I'm expecting, once again, most of the funny bits to be in the trailer, but... I haven't seen it, so the I'm trailer, still good. The trailer, they didn't give away too much. No. Um, so I'm expecting it to be better than A Million Ways to Die in the West. Did you actually see it? I did actually see A Million Ways to Die. You didn't, didn't like it. I didn't. I didn't like it that much. Oh, well, there you go. What did you think of A Million Ways to? Uh, Emmy and I laughed our asses off. It was yeah. pretty great. I didn't find a lot of it funny. Hopefully, this is better. Interesting. Because we're, I, we're I running out of funny movies. I'd probably equate it to. I expect it to be even worse. Even I, worse? I, I mean, I'm excited, but I think this movie... I mean, come on, it's a sequel to a movie that doesn't really require a sequel. Well, at the end of the first movie, this, they, they kind of let into this already. The very last uh, scene, they're like, you're going to college. Right. I realize that there is the lead-in, I just... Don't see the I need. I don't see the need, yeah. <laughs> I think the, the need would have been okay without this movie. Full but speed. I'm hoping to be surprised. I did enjoy the first one. I don't know, it's... I have a soft spot for dumb, crappy comedy movies, so... Well, hopefully you're not disappointed. I, I try not to be disappointed. Sweet. Yeah. So let's go check it out. Let's! Go do it. Are we good? Rock and roll! Rock and roll! You can't come. I don't have enough money for both of us, so you have to stay here. It's not the it's, size. It's pretty much it's like... It's how you time. use it. Yeah. <laughs> how it handles. So what'd you think of the movie? Awesome! That was I, good. I was quite, I mean I know going in that I thought it was gonna suck, but I like that better than almost every movie that we've gone to so far. This year, at this, least. Yes, exactly. And I like Maleficent a lot. Yeah, it was good. This was very... This was, uh, it was really funny. Like, I laughed a lot, and I don't laugh very much. I mean, they, at movies. they rehashed the storyline almost, well, flipped. I'm sorry, I screwed up if you... Yeah, no, I know what you mean. But they did it, like, good, like, making fun of themselves the whole way through. Yeah, I like how it was all stabs at that it's a sequel to a movie that probably shouldn't have had a sequel. Yeah, and then the end bit was really good, too. Yeah, I'm actually kind of hope that they do a few of those. And Channing Tatum. Man. Holy crap. I want to look like that one day. He's... He's a huge jacked man. He is. He would put huge Jack Man to shame, I think. Ah, uh, they should fight. That would be pretty sweet. That would be a good fight. Does he get to fight as Wolverine? No. no that's not fair. Maybe no. No. But oh man, there was like there was epic slow mo action. Oh yeah, it's and, just and hilarity. Yeah. Just funny just stuff. Things. It was great. So how many dead person dildos Gosh. would you give it out of ten? Probably like eight. Yeah. Nine? 
Yeah, I'd probably give it eight. Yeah. Maybe eight point two yeah, six. Sure. Yeah, you got two thirds of a dildo. Yeah. That's all you need sometimes. <laughs> That was good. I enjoyed that. You should go see it. Yeah, Check it out. Recommended. Yeah, as is definitely by far much better than Million Ways to Die. Um, by far better than um, Neighbors for funny movies, and um, probably by far better. Definitely better than X Men and Spider Man. Maleficent was good. Spider Man had a really good ending though. I don't know, but you should go see this movie. Go definitely. see it now. Like, right now. Do it now! Drop everything you're doing, and go. Drop it. Drop it. Stop! Stop it! It's part two, I guess. <laughs> part one seemed kind of quick. Not sure. Really. Sure. Mel's, Mel's kind go of... Go over cool. that way. I guess we'll sit, sit, we'll sit down, down and take a seat. <laughs> sit with me. What a lovely, what a lovely chair. Thank you. So, um, yeah, back to the movie, I yes. guess. They probably didn't see anything. It's been like 15 minutes. Um, would you watch a sequel? Yes! I, uh, how many sequels options would you watch? I think they got up to like 43 or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would probably watch the majority of them. I would say if they made between half and 75% of what was shown, I would probably be tempted to watch that. They're pretty good. Yeah. Some of the ideas were actually not too bad either. I would be those, tempted to think those were pretty sweet ideas. For those, me. the ending credits were pretty, pretty awesome. Yes. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that's a, that was a good way to do it. Um, who is your favorite character? Oh, my favorite character. Um... Probably Jenko? Jenko. Jenko? Chang him. Yeah, he, I liked him too. Yeah. He played the dumb guy to a T. Yeah, he, he does it really well. I feel that <clears throat> uh, Jonah Hill's character is too much of a whiny bitch. Even when he's having things his own way, <laughs> he's still just a whiny uh, bitch. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. And, I mean, Channing Tatum is just... Yeah, of course. Who's your least favorite character? Would, would that be Jonah Hill? I Probably. I didn't like the, the villain, the ghost. Yeah, he didn't really have that big of a... Uh... He was like the stereotypical bad guy for two-year-olds or something like that. I agree. I have to say his daughter, though, was actually kind of cool. She was kind of funny. She's very witty and... You know who would have played that dress? really well, too? Amanda Bynes. I think she would have done a very good she job. She hadn't, you know, washed up and killed her career, she would have played that position pretty good. But, I mean, the person, whoever it was, I don't have no idea who, who you are, whoever you are, I have no idea who you are. Yeah, did a pretty decent job, I actually enjoyed that. Yeah, but Ghost was completely unnecessary. And whatever happened, I guess, the Mexican Wolverine, I guess he blew up? I don't remember where he was at that time. He blew up. Yeah, oh, no, 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 I get to get tackled. He got tackled. Right, That's he got taken idea. out and then he runs up to try and get the helicopter. So he's probably fine. But, you know. I imagine he's got some broken ribs or something. Yeah, after getting hit by that guy, you know. That tattoo would probably break anyone's ribs getting hit that hard. That tackle could have been much much more cooler. I agree. I mean, he did have a, sh a shot in the arm. I guess. I mean, to even be running is and jumping. Like, I mean, those are your legs. Yeah. You use your arms for the movement, it would still hurt. I mean, I don't know. I'm not one to get shot. I was about to say we should test this out for science, you know, see if you can run and tackle after I shoot you in the arm. Yeah. Anyway, I think, I think that was good. We've got, we got a couple more questions to answer. For sure. Do you have a favorite part without giving too much away? There's a challenge. Yes, a favorite part without giving too much away. I um, I think when he said he was trying to soil himself, it was pretty. Good. Out of all the things that could were quotable from the movie, that's still the one that I can say. I have to say I enjoyed the bit where they were in. It was probably the last time they were in the precinct, and um, Channing Tatum found out about oh, what. Yes. What that other conspired. guy did. Yeah. yeah. What what happened when? 
That and to who? That, that was probably the most laugh out. Like that was funny because I was thinking after we found out what had happened and you know like the high five and the really like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I almost want to watch that bit again. Just that bit would be fine. That's that whole bit from like the moment you find out is just hilarious. Uh, Up that, until probably yes, that was really really awesome. Ten minutes from the end, and oh yeah, that was. That was great. That was very good. I would agree that's probably one of the funniest bits of the movie. Yeah. So what's next on our list? We have a list. Um, I don't know. We should probably have a list. I don't know what's next. Probably Transform or maybe uh, Hercules. Hercules? Yeah. Or Transmorphers? Transmorphers. But Transmorphers is until August, isn't it? There's going to be, I'm sure there's a few movies coming out in July for us to see first. We could probably see Jersey Shore. Boys. Jersey Shore Boys? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing that. It's a, I think that would be good. That's a probably a more serious movie, which would be uh, very... We got some culture serious, so that should be... Yeah, exactly. We'll it's probably it like, needed. We should suit up. Coats and like, pipes. Yes. Monocles. Agreed. That sounds like everything that should be necessary for that. Sounds good. Yes. Classy cultured movie. Sweet. Alright. Stay frosty. Thank you.